I'm sorry I got carried away a little bit last time, I just made a really long video telling you all kinds of things. Things that are mostly important, but also, I guess not all of them were, well, it wasn't very concise, but I guess all the things you learn are good to know. Oh look, I get a spy. I think that's one of the most useful ones that you can get, because they can potentially give you a lot of research points. And I'm pretty close to unlocking my first freight engine, which will speed things up. So I, I took my time to, well, massively expand my empire. Look at all this. Oh, I could build a business here. Oh, should I? I want to. Building a business right in his main town. <laughs> Even though he'll benefit from it. And I like having furniture in the same town as, well, lumber, because they can just make the lumber and then immediately build the furniture out of it. So that's good. Oh, the music's off. Let's fix that. Music's still kind of quiet. Ah, weird. Right, so... There, you can see that it'll make lumber out of the wood, and then it'll make furniture out of the lumber, and then, well, unfortunately, lumber isn't really used in in small cities, but in, in big cities it'll come in handy, I guess. Alright, so, let's look at our tasks. I am 20% ah, done with, with transporting the people to Montgomery. And I just now accomplished the thing of owning five businesses, which is alright, I guess. It's easy to achieve if you are the industrialist, I guess. Okay, so unfortunately I've not achieved a great population in Montgomery, Montgomery but August is, is growing very well, so... I can click on this here and I can see how many people want to go to each city and I can see that they... Montgomery's not too bad because it's nearby and that means that well nearby cities get more sometimes you get tasks to to transport people halfway across the map and that just takes forever because they they never want to go there <laughs> but in this case it's very convenient because well, they do want to go there. Wow, three sawmills. Just because I neglected that town right there. Right, I guess I'll buy the sawmills. Well, not free. Actually, now I need to wait. And you can tell that just now I... <laughs> I get spammed by everything telling me I need to build water towers. And I actually built some, but... I mean, my empire is too vast. I can't build water towers everywhere all at once. I guess I'll have to deal with that, and that's too bad. Alright, so let's look into what what resources we need here. So, I guess we're going to talk about the, the goods a lot. We, we covered it up already a bit, but we're going to talk more about the goods in this one. Because now we need to fulfill the demand. We need lumber, we need fruits we need well liquor and sugar didn't i have sugar i saw i had sugar somewhere oh is that one is it no no that one doesn't have sugar this one's supposed to have sugar am i too stupid did i think it had sugar but it didn't oh no that, that explains why it hasn't grown anyways you can See that I have greatly increased my, my value. I have now 15 million. So that's good. Now where the... Where, where was sugar? Oh right, let's find out. Down here. Okay, that's easy to connect. Easy... But not too convenient. Hmm. And my... One of my office personnel got poached. Central shaft, oh great, now I can build tunnels, which I never wanted to, but at least it's an extra point to, to make a mainline discovery, I guess. 
All right, let's connect that sugar. And this town has automatically built a, a industry that I don't, that I didn't choose, which is annoying. And it's really hard to, to get them the, the, the resources they want because it's so far away. Great, looks like I'm gonna have to build this one in, in several attempts as well. If I don't want it to look like this. <laughs> There we go. That's much better. Okay, so essentially, yeah, let's let's do all about growing cities in this in this video. Let's make it concisely about that. And the next video I think will be about expanding stations, which is annoying to do. But you'll you'll see how it's done. Now we want this and that. There we go. Oh great. No, actually that's fine. He's actually in the right direction to have a signal there. Okay, there we go. Sugar being connected. So my my money is going up quite rapidly. Whenever I pause just briefly, it'll go up quite nicely, and that's good. Now let's copy that sugar train a bunch of times. I guess it's too bad that I'm only getting this freight engine now because I wanna replace a lot of my engines, but I don't have an easy way to find which ones are relate uh, which ones are freight. I guess it'd be nice if I could. If I could set it so that all the ones that go to go to warehouses count as freight, but no. no. There's no distinction for that yet. There's one for rural businesses. But there's ones that go between cities and warehouses that I'd like to, to target as well. Okay, so we'll get sugar and then this warehouse is full. I'm gonna have to build another one, I assume. Oh, I should check out. Oh, yeah, of course, that one's super busy, which is bad. Probably why it's taking so long to satisfy the needs. So now you see there's, there's four tracks, and I have to, to pick each one. They're mostly even, except for from that side. From that side, you can't reach them. So I have to make sure to only reassign the ones that I can. Like this one, I can set to go to here. And that one for sure is not a problem to reassign. And we're almost much better. I mean, we are much better, but we'll be better yet. Oh, I did that one. Oh, I, I should not reassign that one. That one's coming from that side. Okay, let's see about this one. Yep, this one for sure. It's hard to keep track of, which is why it's so good that they added the the auto signaling control stuff. Well, you've seen how it's grayed out, and that's really good. Okay, well, there we go. Now this is a lot better. Could still be a little bit better, let's see. Why is that empty? Oh, right, because it's from Jacksonville. And cities don't always have things to put into warehouses. Okay, so... What other... So anyways, <clears throat> on general, there's these six tiers of items. And they, they usually equate with the... The level of the city. So level one city needs level one tier. Level two city needs level two tier stuff as well. And then... Level 3 needs 3 as well, but I, I guess they're more fluid than that. So I guess if it's like... Well, they, they don't get all of them at once, you'll have to, to, to watch specifically, like... Well, also, we're really early, so it doesn't have all this stuff unlocked yet. Like, paper should have been unlocked, but it isn't. 
Yeah, so paper's gonna unlock in three years, apparently, which isn't a long time, but... Yeah, I never even realized that paper isn't unlocked yet, but I guess I'm, I'm playing so fast now that basically it's not unlocked. You can't look at the stuff while paused if you don't play on manual mode, which sucks, because that just wastes your time, but whatever. I mean, it, I mean, it wanders your time, because the, the time ticks away when it shouldn't. Oh yeah, and I, I got some fruit here that I can bring to Montgomery. Hmm, which... Oh. Maybe I should make uh, another warehouse first. Don't want to upgrade the stations to so I can bring more goods into it. Can we? Oh yeah, there's enough money, all right. Okay, here might be a good place. I could turn it like this as well. Then it wouldn't take so much space. Hmm. If they're facing away from the, the city, they you can make lots of warehouses. If they're facing sideways to the city, then you probably only can fit three. Okay, we we need well fruit. I I think we could probably benefit from getting the wood directly here. Let's rename that warehouse so it's not unclear which one it is. Montgomery. Every time I... It's really good that I learn how to spell all this stuff. <laughs> and W2, so I know it's a warehouse, right. So what we want to do is wait for money and then attach the fruit and the wood there okay I'm even gonna upgrade this t train station from the wood so it doesn't take up so it doesn't interfere with the other traffic from the wood which is gonna be great Okay, beautiful. Can I make this here double in a good way? No. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Oh. Oh, looks like I messed up there. Connected it wrong. Easy to fix. Yeah, you should look at my little my tricks of how to connect these things this is an up this is a single link control so i don't need to waste my time manually crossing the lines here because it's auto it, it already goes to the right place okay we got this can i build a water tower on this spot here that would be good By the way, you can also destroy water towers for free and get the money back, just like repair stations. I mean, repair buildings in cities, which means that you can pos potentially make money. Uh, if you need money, you can always destroy water towers or repair stations, and you'll be notified that <laughs> your trains break down, which isn't a big problem, but it tells you where they are, so you can put them back up again if, if you really want to and if you have the money <laughs> okay so the next step will be to oh yeah, I'll I'll pick up here I'll connect it here can I oh hmm it's not ideal Not ideal at all. No easy way to connect here. Hmm. Oh wait, no, never mind. It's fine. I, I guess it's easier to just connect from here to here. Now we're gonna see something real annoying. No, never mind. 
But sometimes it just tells you that you can't destroy this water tower until the trains stop using it. But then the trains never stop using it because there's always a new train trying to use it. <laughs> Which is just tragic that they haven't thought of that. And it's not even important, it's just water. They don't even need it, <laughs> but they still they still block you from destroying it. And you can't build over a water tower because it's big and in the way. So that's all too bad. Okay, so I wanna build from here to here. Yes, perfect. Nope, not perfect. <laughs> Alright, fine. Have it your way, I guess. Oh my god. That is not right. There's no way why this would be wrong. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's a it's real finicky at times. I mean, I guess I might not be making this game look as good as it could, but I believe in this game. This game's gonna be awesome. Or well, it's already pretty good, but it'll be even better because they apparently are actually fixing it, which people didn't think they would, but they are. So that's good. Oh boy, that one can't be destroyed again. Lovely. So I I need to build a track to override it. Okay, there we go, perfect. Now this, now I can build a connection. By the way, check this out. <laughs> There's some crazy, crazy connections here. Building from here to here to connect the fruit. Okay, I've got second salt here. Is there really no better fruit? Because this is not ideal. <laughs> Guess not, guess that's the only fruit we get. My only other option would be to have another warehouse to store the fruit in between, I guess. Oh well. It's probably not as bad as it would be. Oh wow, and then there's no fruit here, lovely. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, so while I'm trying to grow this, I can just send far away trains to get to it like this warehouse and it has a, a long way to get to the place where it's gone where it's going let's see what it brings oh corn i didn't want i don't have corn i should have corn i might not have corn actually well no wonder that city's not growing if it doesn't have corn let's fix that by adding corn from here Guess I should have looked at each one of the, the stats. I guess that's too bad that they don't have a way to, to look which ones are, are missing without clicking through each one of them. Yeah, I don't need to see things. <laughs> Damn weather. Perfect. And all I need to do there is connect it to the warehouse so it doesn't have to waste time by taking up space in the train station. There we go. Hi. <laughs> Connected the wrong sides again. Here we go. That's how I fix that. If I do that by accident, it's really easy to fix. Remember, I'd have to cross these lines if it wasn't auto signaling. Well, I paid extra for auto signaling because I'm already rich now. And once you're rich, you get richer because auto signaling is awesome. Now I want to make sure that this warehouse has the corn enabled. Oh, here. <laughs> and 
put another one there. Okay, so now it'll be a lot more satisfied. Yeah, it's beer, right? Yeah, beer and cheese. Oh, and I finally get my freight train. Oh, this is gonna be sweet. It might be easiest to just replace all trains with that freight train, but it would be really expensive. And then I could manually change all the ones that aren't that are just cities to not freight trains. Yeah, that I'll do that. That's a good way of doing that. I've hired a lot of personnel that I haven't used. Guess I'll use them soon. All right. Oh, now he took my surveyor, I think. Let's see if I can regain my surveyor from him with this headhunter. Uh, oh, it won't let me. That's weird. Can I specifically not get that one because I... I don't know if that's a bug. I should be able to get the surveyor back. Hmm, weird. So what don't I have? Station master, I guess. Alright, now... How are these trains coming? Oh, not as good, because they seem to be... Seems that this track here is rather used, uh, rather busy. No, not that busy. No, definitely busy. What do we have here? Some kind of bug where trains got stuck, but I don't see where. There's another reason why manual pause mode is so important. you can look at the conflicts easier now why is this stuck oh you, this one's going the wrong way for some inexplicable reason good thing you can just do this and then boom <laughs> he, he moves out of the way and then I can remove the thing and then he's gone I don't know how he ended up on the wrong side that's weird sometimes that happens easy fix Yeah, I got 43 train stations now and over 70 trains. I don't want to buy the most expensive cornfield in the world. No, thanks. Alright, so finally it's time to replace all my trains with this train. No, almost. Headhunt failed. Typical. Alright, so now they're all freight trains how much slower does that make him oh, only slightly slower but a lot stronger and then when I get the next mixed classified train I'll be able to replace the ones that I want to have mixed it'll be good Okay, so are these trains coming in yet? Yes, they are. Here comes the corn. Now, will this make them immediately happy? I hope so. Yeah, look at that. It immediately grew. The, I guess the base of the, the needs, the more important it is to meet them. It still displays zero corn satisfaction, but we know it just brought the corn, so that's wrong. Fruit is also really low, but I guess that's what happens if it's this far away. I could fix that by making a, an express line for the fruit. <laughs> that would not be smart. Yeah, I guess I'll have to make do with, with small amounts of food. It'll already grow a lot from just this. Now you can see a lot of trains go by. Oh, another headhunter that I'll have to employ. Oh my god, 200,000? Maybe I should not. But I do need a station master. Hmm. If 
Where's that train? Oh good, he's bringing... He's bringing Kloss to Montgomery, which means that that's another, another thing that will be met. Another want. Oh, from here? From Nashville? Wow. <laughs> that's... I didn't know that that was already being developed well. And my furniture industry here is doing well as, as well. <laughs> Personnel recruited. <gasps> Unbelievable. Wait, two accountants? Hmm, useless. The other one would just decrease the potential of my other employee. Yeah, they constantly poach my employees. It would be good to get rid of them. <laughs> but then again, they're also nice to keep around because you don't have to, to rule literally the entire map. Got another one? Unbelievable. Okay, well, anything more about these warehouses? Well, oh yeah, so anyways. Let's talk about the goods some more. We we got, I mean, there's two types of goods. There's the ones that are produced in a city, and then there's the ones that are produced in rural businesses. And, well, hmm, I I used to to wish that I was. Oh look, I can finally upgrade. I can finally build something. Why do I have a million dollars? Well, guess I I just inexplicably owned the game somehow. <laughs> How valuable am I? 18k? 80 million? Right, so... Right, the, so this one now is, is the same as with the furniture, because it... It takes immediately from the other business to this business, and then builds into this, and I can upgrade this business even more to accommodate for all this demand. And I need a lot more cotton in this town because they have upgraded the the weaving industry. All right, so let's see what happens with these these clothes. They should well, I mean, they get produced and then. Are they immediately being loaded onto trains when they when they do? Ooh, a professor. That would mean trading in research points for money, which is not bad. But I already have a lot of money, so I wouldn't do it. I'd, I'd use a professor early on in the game, I guess. I'm actually pretty close to beating this part of the game. Look at these beautiful warehouses. And I've got so many freight trains now and they all move so fast. That's, that's how I like it. <laughs> wow, look at that. That's fi five stars, uh, a five city already. That's pretty good. It's not what I need to do, unfortunately. I'm supposed to grow this city, so I guess I'll have to build another warehouse there. But I, I guess you've seen me build enough warehouses for now, so I'll I'll skip that part. Well, anyways, the next part will be upgrading train stations, and then the the part after that should be express lines. I mean, upgrading stations, yeah. So how good is this? How how good are these these needs met? Well, don't have enough fruit, but we have not enough lumber either. I can upgrade lumber, can't I? Yeah, I own lumber here. I can upgrade it. Unfortunately, I'll have to build a warehouse here to. Well, maybe not. Uh, I definitely do need to build a warehouse to get the lumber. Damn it! <laughs> Guess there's no getting around that. Well. I mean, you've seen what I'm doing, so you can... Actually... I'm gonna just do it off-screen. Here we go, to the future. Alright, so now I've built this warehouse here. And of course I splurged on some bridges, so now I'm... 
I had to spend some time getting more money and in the meantime this Montgomery grew even bigger. I guess I have to also take away the, the beer from the city that it's produced in order to make sure that the industry keeps running well. So let's let's find out uh, let's find out if there's any other any cities that need beer. Oh boy, it's a lot of cities that <laughs> have beer. Okay, I guess I'll send it up there. I'll send some beer up there, but unfortunately this is not a good solution. At the moment, because I need to build a connection from here to here that skips the well the the train station, otherwise I would end up having well, an even slower train station, because if there's also trains passing through the train station, that's no good. So let's see if we can do this. There. By going, making it go close to here, it, it can use the same bridge, which is good. Yep, there's all kinds of tricks about how to build in this. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry that these keep getting so long, but you know, this is just a very complex game where you can learn quite a lot about it and I guess it's like like almost building almost like building miniature trains or something. <laughs> that apparently takes a lot of time too, I guess. I'm not sure, maybe it doesn't, but I assume it does. I think it's a very prestigious hobby, but I might be wrong. <laughs> I also upgraded that city real quick. I mean that train station. There. In case you forgot how to do that, that's how you do it. Because it's important. But we'll talk more about that in the next one. Okay, so now we we have beer going out of the city, thus boosting the industry by letting it make more beer. Let's even double that train. So that it may be even better. Okay, so... Wasn't that just a level 4 city? Guess not. Okay, so... I have a warehouse that brings wood now. I made it go over this area. So it doesn't... Bottleneck the... In-between city transfers. And now... Well, I've only slightly increased the productivity yet. I guess this thing is bigger than I thought. Keeps recruiting my people. Maybe I was wrong about Doc Murphy. Maybe he is the worst. <laughs> okay, so... That's magical. How do they manage to run out of wood? I bring so much wood into this town. Oh, never mind. Maybe it's more now. It can only make... It can only use up three wood per week. So it really shouldn't be that bad. It should really be... I should be seeing a lot more productivity here. Well, this is looking good. Yeah, maybe it's. it just took a while. And now we got lots of wood. Maybe, maybe it was because the city also needed wood, but now the city is probably satisfied with the wood. Let's see, 14... 14.8. So I guess it, the city now has stored 30 wood, but some of it is just for for use of the townsfolk and not in not for the sawmill. So that's why it took longer. All right, good to know. So here we go. We got everything set up for this town to grow further. And how does the task look? Looks like it's a a quarter done. So that's good. It's all going according to plan. <laughs> And, oh my god, I'm 24 million already. <laughs> Soon I can take another credit and then I'll really... Oh my god, I already can. Look at this. Now I have 3 million to spend. Yeah, if you if you get used to this game, it's it just gets really easy. I, I used to struggle, but now I guess now I, I know all the tricks and you can you can too. And and I don't know, I guess I guess once I've gotten gold medals everywhere, I'll just play at, at really hard mode so I'll, I'll make the AI real smart and see if that actually helps. 
Can't wait to see how that goes. Alright, check out next part for uh, train stations. And, well, you'll see. Bye.